what we do next then is actually add uh, a very simple uh, web server. Okay. So the difference I've made here is I've added this user data field within a web server AWS instance. Okay. And this is like the world's crummiest uh, bash script to the world's crummiest uh, web server. Okay. Using BusyBox HTTP, HTTPD. Okay. And serving up just this uh, index.html. But, you know, it does the job to prove the point. Okay. Uh, user data. Hey, I haven't seen the question yet. I was expecting the question. So uh, why don't you use a remote exec? Um, there are different ways that we can do setup of resources within a virtual machine. Uh, with Terraform, when using AWS, there are some advantages to using this uh, user data field, okay, which is more generally used with AWS. And it has some implications in particular once you start dealing with auto scaling groups. Okay, uh, I won't go into the detail. I was just anticipating the question that didn't come. <laughs> okay, so I've added that user data. So basically this is a script, a really minimal script that will get executed when the VM starts up. So we can see it will create uh, an index.html and then from the same directory, wherever that might be, um, it's going to start up this HTTP the server on the particular port that are now specified in the variables, and it's going to run that in the background so as not to block our server setup. Okay. Also, I've added a new ingress rule here um, to be able to open that web server port. And nothing amazing in the variables, so I've added uh, 80 as our web server port, okay? Do my apply again. And unfortunately, it's still going to de uh, destroy my virtual machine. It is possible to make changes. Um, I expect if I modified a tag, for example, and rerun the apply, it wouldn't actually recreate um, the virtual machine. Uh, but because I've modified the user data, that's something that's taken into account when the virtual machine is created. So we have to recreate. Oh, one other change I made, I forgot. I, I put an output statement, we'll look at that in a moment, to actually show the URL of our web server once that's up and running. Okay, let's just look all the same at... Uh, what's going to change. We have one thing to add, one thing to change, and one thing to destroy, the suspense. So unfortunately, as usual, we destroy our web server instance. And this time, as it shows us, this is because we've added this uh, user data field. So that will force replacement of the uh, AWS instance. Um, what else was going to create? Um, security group will be changed. Okay. Okay. And there was this other thing. I must admit, I've never noticed that one before. There was a credit specification thing that will get destroyed. Never seen that before. Nothing to do with MeGov. So let's not worry about that. Okay. So do my apply once again take a little moment, the web server um, gets destroyed and recreated. And then it will also apply the change to the security group, but that change is uh, instantaneous. Okay, so there's a question about how does uh, Terraform know which AWS account to create these resources in? Um, so it's basically uh, using the same information that the AWS CLI command would use. Let me just go to another 
to the terminal. So if I do uh, env rep id uh, res underscore and uh, oops, I actually hide my keys. I trust you. Okay, we can see that these are some of the environment variables that I have set uh, in my shell. Okay, so that's what's being used. Um, it could also be picking up um, file like uh, AWS config. Okay, but I, I generally prefer to uh, use um, environment variables. So I guess it's the actual, yeah, it will be the AWS plugin for Terraform, the provider that actually picks up uh, those values. Okay. So a new VM has been created and you can see that this time uh, we've uh, provided the URL of it even. Now I've seen sometimes can be just a little slow to create, but I think that should be up and running now. There you go, amazing. Um, so let's actually look at this amazing web page uh, in a browser. Ah. My copy paste missed off the zero. There you go. Amazing. 